Hello friends, how are you? It's Brother Ray here and my wife Anne from the Bible Diet. Today we're going to be talking about encouragement for the parents. We're having another Saturday afternoon discussion and we want to give encouragement to the parents because especially what we're seeing today that with all the things happening in the world and even us ourselves, sometimes as parents we get discouraged. Especially when you're training your children and doing the, trying to lead them the right way and sometimes things may not go the way you want it to go. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's other parents as well who are in the same situation. So how can we encourage parents, and likewise ourselves, to keep the home in order and to keep loving the home and Christ in the home? Yeah, that's right. Well, we have to remember we live in a difficult time. Mm -hmm. uh, there have never been a time that is so um, tough mm -hmm. right now to raise children. There are so many uh, things that uh, can be distracting since the development of technology, the mm -hmm. phone, the computer, the TV, I think things have changed so, so quickly, so mm -hmm. rapidly, and, and uh, it has impacted families. And uh, then, uh, you know, there are other maybe lifestyle things, you know, that mm -hmm. can make it tough. But, you know, we have to remember that um, no one is perfect. Mm -hmm. As parents, we are not perfect. And our children are not perfect. And even as Christian parents, we might do our best, but mm -hmm. only God is perfect. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, He's changing us every day, and I thank mm -hmm. Him for that. He's helping us to be more and more like Him in character, to have more love. Um, but there might be days that are mm -hmm. bright and sunny, and yeah. there might be days when something happens, and mm -hmm. that that's feel like a, like a storm. That's right. <laughs> But we have to always remember that children are a reward from mm -hmm. the Lord. They are a gift. They are, they are so precious. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a verse that talks about that in Psalm uh, 127, um, verse 3. It says, children are an heritage of the Lord, mm -hmm. and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Mm -hmm. So children are a gift from God. They are a reward. Mm -hmm. And when something bad happens, something good can come out of mm -hmm. it. But we have to do our part. We have to do our part in prayer, most of all. Prayer and uh, educating ourselves in child training as mm -hmm. well. Because I know for me, there's so many things I didn't know and I'm still learning. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm far from being a perfect parent. But yeah, uh, what do you want to say about so, that? So what I can say is that um, basically as parents, it's a challenge. And like you mentioned, children are a reward from God, which means that it's a blessing from God. Yeah. So God has given us children as a blessing. And as mm -hmm. parents, sometimes it will get hard for us because that's just the carnal side of us and the children. But we have to be encouraged and know that God has given us his blessing to develop our character. Yeah. And personally, I feel like God has given us children to do a work in us so that we can have oh, a character yes. transformation. Definitely. Because <laughs> even Jesus said, unless we become like little children, yeah. we cannot enter the kingdom. So I think that God wants us to have this character building experience through our children yeah. but as parents as husband and wife or as a, as a parent that have a child i want to read a verse with you it mm -hmm. says wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another even as even as also ye do and that's um first thessalonians verses 5 verse uh, 11. so we have to comfort each other you know when things get tough Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have to find a way how we can uplift each other with encouraging words mm -hmm. to comfort each other. Yeah. You comfort your spouse um, and you comfort your children as well because comforting words can turn away the anger and anguish in the home. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, um, children, they might do something mm -hmm. bad and our carnal reaction is that, oh, wow, we want to be so mad at them. Mm -hmm. But it can be an opportunity. It can mm -hmm. be a beautiful opportunity to control ourselves mm -hmm. and maybe say nothing on the moment. If we are hungry, mm -hmm. if we are, if we are, if we want to, you know, get mad, it's mm -hmm. better to be quiet and wait that we calm down mm -hmm. and to talk to them. Maybe they get, they can be consequences, a uh, wise consequences. But it's maybe opportunity to talk to them and to mm -hmm. lead them to Jesus. In, the, in this uh, situation, to lead them to, to Jesus, telling them that, you know, Jesus died on the cross for their sins. And, mm -hmm. But 
um, you know, um, they can come to Jesus and repent and turn away from their mm-hmm. sins, and there is joy in, in going to Jesus and to, in doing the right thing. Yeah. So there is opportunity. Nothing is lost. Um, and I want to encourage. Um, if uh, I know that it's easier to train up children when they are young, mm-hmm. but if they, there is anybody who has children and they are older mm-hmm. and they they are going astray or they into the world like or mm-hmm. uh, uh, they're doing very bad things, I encourage you to pray because yeah. the enemy is yes. strong. Satan is strong. Satan influences our children, and mm-hmm. that's his goal. He's going after youth and children, mm-hmm. but God is so much stronger Amen. God Amen. is the creator God <coughs> is God is God Amen. That's it. and um, there is hope there mm-hmm. is hope pray claim God's promises mm-hmm. there is a verse um, in Jeremiah chapter 31 mm-hmm. and it says uh, verse 16 it says Refrain, so thus said the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping mm-hmm. and thine eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded, mm-hmm. says the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. Amen. So God was saying uh, to Moses, refrain from weeping. Your work, as long as you did your best right. from the knowledge you had, um, and you pray, God will bring back your mm-hmm. children from the land of the enemy that's right okay so claim this promise you can claim mm-hmm. it back to god that's right and um mm-hmm. don't be discouraged as a parent because as you just heard there's nothing more um i should say more noble than a praying parent for their child yeah. you have to pray for your children so don't be discouraged and i'll close with this verse or i'll share this verse in closing it says psalms 31 24 says be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. Right. Be encouraged and he shall strengthen your heart. Who is that he? Jesus. Which means that we have to be in constant prayer and supplication for our children, for our family, and our homes. And God wants us to be of good courage. Yeah. Do not be discouraged. Even though you think, yeah. you may think that you're losing the battle. But you have to keep praying and be of good courage because God will strengthen and you have to keep pressing on in the truth. Yes. So I don't know if you have any final thoughts you want to share as we get ready to close. Honestly, there can be so many things yes. to talk about <laughs> on this topic of encouragement yeah. and not giving up and training our children. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, maybe that can be for, uh, we will try to make uh, other videos. Yes. But yes, be encouraged, like my husband say, nothing is lost. As long as there is life, there mm-hmm. is hope. And, um, and hold on to Jesus. That's hold right. Hold on to Jesus. <coughs> Study his word prayerfully. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, educate yourself on child training that is yes. a, from Christian source. I insist on that. And I'm mm-hmm. not going to be scared to say that. That is on, uh, from Christian source, biblical mm-hmm. source because there can be false sources yes. out there about training our children that mm-hmm. are so wrong that seems to be good but they are not good mm-hmm. so educate yourself pray do your best and uh, trust god mm-hmm. smile at uh, at what god is going to do yes. in, in your children smile at that's it claim the him. promises claim the yeah. promises that god is able to do all things the same way how the bible says in philippians 4 4 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. God is able to do all things. The Bible also said, with God, nothing is impossible. That's right. So be encouraged. Pray for your children. Pray as a family. And God mm-hmm. will work miracles in your home. So yes. we hope that that video will give you some encouragement as a parent mm-hmm. to not be discouraged no matter the situation or where you are in your family. But bring it to God and let yeah. Him deal with it for you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos like this. Remember to also put your comment about what you think. Um, please be sure to also um, hit the like and subscribe. And if you have a question or a request, please feel free to put it in the comment or you can email us at our email. So until the next time, this is Brother Ray and my wife Anne from The Bible Diet. As I always say, remember that God is it's always, always good. good. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.